Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Kingdom 2 Crowns, a hopefully chill session where in this episode we will be finding a lot more people because we have jobs available. So we need to go to the far left hand side here to see if we can get a couple of extra villages. There you go, you can see there's a couple of people there waiting for some coins so we'll get them paid and obviously they'll come back and um, have a hopefully better life in our little encampment. In the previous episode we managed to get some obviously walls built and expanded etc as well well as getting this lizard which is really really cool but only when it's in the summer obviously you can bask in the uh, well when it's an open plane like this you can bask in the sun to get your stamina back but I believe that doesn't actually work in the winter which to be fair makes total sense but there you are we also have the ability to spit flame which is always an advantage and that's good I'm trying to see if I can get some more money and there's uh, some money that uh, this guy's uh, obviously been fishing and such so that's fairly cool. We also have people that are there using the, uh, well, the farming. We have some extra coin if we wanted to get some. Do we really want to upgrade this? I don't think I do. No, we've got uh, far too many jobs available for people. I don't think there'll be anyone around here and it looks like that is not the case. No. We also, like I said, managed to um, fend off on the uh, left hand side, sorry, on the right hand side using the flames, well, which is fairly good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll get them paid there as well. Which is also, we've got a stag on the right there and the horse on the left. It would be nice if it would change to be whatever we're currently mounted on, but not that really matters. Anyway, so we'll have a quick look on the left and right. I've already checked the left. I want to check the right there. Oh, see so the stag is uh, sitting sitting around. How much does it cost? Three. If it, would t it cost three if I wanted to uh, sit on the stag. Um, yeah, I'm, I was seeing if I can see where the next portal is on both sides. Obviously on the left hand side it's very very close and I think it's yet yeah, just there as well. So actually sending an attack on the left and right is uh, not a big issue because they're very very close. So I think that's what we'll do because I need to in this episode probably destroy a couple of portals at minimum. Um, ideally I want all of the portals taken out but I don't think it's going to happen. Also what I don't think it's going to happen either is uh, my pockets are going to uh, yeah, they're going to overflow there, so if I drop some coin on the way past, that should hopefully help out, and I want to uh, potentially spend a bit of this money on upgrading. I want to upgrade some of these towers, because, well, at least the ones here we need to probably upgrade. Let's get these upgraded, because when we have the retaliation waves, and mainly the big waves from the, uh, from the Blood Moon... We need to make sure that we can defend our walls. Obviously, mistakes were made <laughs> when it comes to the left and right. And I put the night tower on the front. So that's a bit of a problem, but yeah. Let's uh, stand here and we're going to get massively, massively paid. Uh, as you can see, all the farmers are dispensing all of that coin. This one is upgraded. We can upgrade it to another level. And I think that would be of some advantage. Let me do that and spend this money like so. And there's that done. And we can see a couple of more archers here. And now that that attack is over with, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And there's some at people sent. We still have some defending there, as you can see see but we do have two of these heading towards the right hand side to destroy this portal now i'm going to wait on the outside until the sun comes up because i want to get some cash uh, sorry i've got cash i need to get some uh, stamina today's beverage is green tea by the way and no it looks like i'm not going to get stamina because it is raining i was going to say get some stamina but looks like there's no option there and what we can do because we are the salamander we can uh, spit the fire um, oh no I've got no stamina which is something I can't do you see that the knight is able to block those attacks better oh hang on and then, there we go <laughs> so we put the fire down and that's uh, helping us out a little bit I think the fire lasts for about five seconds and spit <laughs> there you go and uh, that's helping us out massively once this is done and it won't take long for that portal to be destroyed Obviously, we'll get a retaliation. We have three portals on the left and right. So, ideally, I'd like to get a couple of them down. Ideally, I want to get them all down in this episode. But it's not going to happen, I don't think. It's going to be uh, quite, a, that's, that's quite a long way out. But we do have the ability to destroy portals now, though, which is or the, the end one. Permanently, with the, the big bomb. Some more fire. I thought you could only do it a couple of times without uh, having to recharge. Well, well, why? 
the times of farming have recharged, but it does look like that is the case. And there we go. There is the first portal on the right one destroyed. Excellent. Can't bask, which is a shame. But we can go back and we see that, yep, that is actually upgraded to the... Is it the second highest? It is the second highest. So we can give another level up as well. And we've heard that noise there to tell us that we have a retaliation wave coming. I'm going to go to the farmers to see if they've got any money. They have got a little bit of cash. See, there's a couple of pikes there as well, so we do have that if we need it. Um, and hmm, we don't have any more people. And I don't know where this is going to come from. And I don't know why they're giving me loads of coin. I don't want to give... I'm trying to give you coin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. I don't know where this attack will come from. Oh, there we go. There's loads of money from these guys. And um, I think I will save that cash. Because I want to get both of these people here. One, and then two. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna, gonna send a fireball there. Don't know if I want to upgrade that one. I'm not too sure. So we'll have this retaliation wave. Could potentially be very, very dangerous, but we'll see how it goes. This farm's going to get me paid. But obviously we also have, on the left-hand side, another area. Um, it doesn't look like we've seen anything. Hmm. So, these guys are not going outside. Is the... Oh, and now the sun's... The sky's changing again. Hmm. Let's see which way the dog barks. Not that I can see because of where they are. He's looking to the left. Doggo is looking to the left. Okay. Oh, yeah. And it's getting sent. Let's get some fire up. And I believe if the greed touch each other when they're on fire, they get set on fire as well. There you go. So with this being Island 4, it has sort of stepped it up a notch in terms of difficulty. And that should be that done. So one, and then two. So we're sending two. Similar thing as before. I'm going to escort it in. It's going to be very, very close anyway. But that's fine. What I'm tempted to do is put fire down, like so, and I'm going to run past. Because they're attacking that. They've got that fight. There's no reason for me to stay there. They've got the knights fully upgraded and all that with coins, so yeah, they've got all the protection they need. But we can spend the cash over here to get those there. Excellent. And oh, that's something I did not anticipate that they were going to come this way. That's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, okay. Hmm. It's not a huge issue. They're just going to take coin. And eventually what's going to happen is that portal will be destroyed. So you see the attack in the villages there. It's a good little experiment, if nothing else. <laughs> see they're taking that coin. And there's that destroyed. And are they going to... Oh no, they've got the dog! No, no, no! Right, I think I managed to save the dog. That was a teeth dryer. That was a plumber's estimate. Yeah, okay. We've managed to destroy the portal, but um, we now know to never do that again. <laughs> right. Dangerous. Very, very dangerous. But we saved the dog. If we were in any other mount, I don't think that would have been possible. The war horse can't attack, but it gives people buffs. The griffin does like a wing flap pushback. Oh, I think the I think the bear might be able to, but I'm not sure. They're running inside. Obviously, this is the retaliation wave. Dogs barking this this side. So, oh, there we go. There's the attack. And fire! This fight, this fire is so powerful. So, oh, and we have flyers. So this is a difficult one. So they're going to go straight over the top. I don't know where they're going. A lot of them are dying. This is good. But 
but these ones are continuing on. Um, so, this is actually... Oh, and we've got these big guys as well. So let's put some flame on there, because I think they take a lot of damage from the fire. And these are spawners. They're obviously kicking the hell out of that wall. My concern is if that's what's happening at this side, what's happening at the other side without this flame? And we have some more of the flies coming back that I think have got hold of people. They have got a hold of people. So I'm hoping that, yes, we can take them out. Yep, there we go. We managed to take them out. I don't know if that was the end of the wave. Because the sun is still set. And as you can see, yeah, the people in this tower are no longer in that tower. I would like to upgrade said tower. Because that is our first... Sort of reinforcement bit for the flyers because someone changed them to a night tower <laughs> the the front which <clears throat> mistakes were made anyway you live and learn so we've got a couple more people but no money and some jobs spare so let's go ahead and check the right hand side for damage you can see there's people hanging around the town centre here but that was in very quick session a couple of decent attacks there so we'll take a couple of days break from that. <laughs> We're not going to be doing that again. But I am going to get paid, hopefully. Although the crops might have withered and died with, this, with the amount of attacks without the, without the break there. It seems to me that they haven't been attacked on this side. So that's fine. And then we'll go to today. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to have a little scout out to the right-hand side just to see how far the next point is, I'm also very tempted to let's start removing some of these trees and come into this side three deer there followed by the bear three gems required and then a portal, so actually the portal is not that far, so I think that portal is attackable from our current location if we attack very early on in the day. I think that's... Sorry, at the night. As soon as it's like... As soon as it's like very early morning. As soon as the, as soon as the attack finishes or whatever. We can probably do that. Removing this. I know there's some discussion regarding the benefits and negatives of removing these trees and such like I do. With it being the mount that we have, I much prefer to be open. Because we can bask. Like so. Sadly, we can't get the deer, but it is what it is. I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a ideal way anywhere. So, I'm gonna pick up some coin, a lot of coin apparently. Hopefully, not wasting any. I'll drop a couple just in case, like so, and I will continue upgrading. It will be, well, actually one, two, three, four archer jobs, followed by this upgraded to the next level. Like that. And then... Coin for him. Exact right amount as well. Just going to stand next to these guys. And I've only got one coin to hand over, sadly. I'll hand over a coin. There we go. Obviously the boats to build as well. But we're not leaving this place until we've destroyed the, the portal. That's the intention at this stage. Oh, careful now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can very easily set the f set fire but I don't think friendlies take damage no they don't take damage maybe there was a better way of determining whether they take damage or not rather than actually putting a big ball of fire on a worker but uh, you know now we know so on the left no free arches as far as I can tell so that's a shame this is to be removed to then creep forward We'll then eventually upgrade those portals, probably, to allow us to teleport faster from the left to the right. And that's some ominous music. Is this Blood Moon? Don't know. I think it's at the end of every season. There's loads of arches coming. It's not Blood Moon. It's just ominous music. <laughs> yes, I think you get um, Blood Moon at the... 
end of every season, and every season lasts 16 days. It's likely that we'll see winter on this this one. So we have both towers left and right at level 3. Actually no, 3 arches size. But, there we go, that's what I was looking forward to. Uh, looking for some cash. But I want to keep upgrading these. Like so. Not upgrading it to any great special tower or anything like that. It's just the standard tower that we can get from our technology. Up to level 4 like that. Which is good. And we've been paid here as well. Tempted to... Tempted to send an attack. Not going to. I guess there's also some benefit in micromanaging your horses and your mounts, isn't there? Hmm. Let's bask a little bit. I'd rather have the mouth open. <laughs> so, what do we want to upgrade? Well, I think we will get some more arches. You just can't have too many arches, I find. When you're upgrading towers, especially in the, you know, going one place to the other. And you want the free arches as well. So is that upgraded. I want to do the same here. I want multiple layers of defences. But obviously that requires people. So, we have to make sure that we get those. The problem is that everything on the left hand side, if that front gets destroyed... If that front gets destroyed, I mean, what's the first part thing we're going to encounter? This thing. So this is the one we really need upgrading. We're sort of betting on the knights taking care of most most of the tasks. Which isn't a problem. Um, I'm going to risk a run here. Actually, where's the nearest worker? There's one there, two there. I'm going to risk this. They should be just there anyway. Yeah, there you go. They'll come off that. So they'll come off that, and then some of the workers will be reassigned to that. That uh, catapult, so that's good. That's fine. Haven't got any... I haven't seen any pikemen as of late. So I'm guessing then they've finished. Because I think they only last for a certain amount of time. And then they go. We get two there. I'm uh, waiting on this side tonight, because I want to charge to the left-hand side and get an extra two people. This was basking just as the sun set. Get paid. Good. And once we go forward, it means we can perhaps move this night station. I don't know whether it is a mistake having it there or not. I really don't know. We could go to here, couldn't we? Where else would we want to go? Going to here means we've got this upgraded to a tower, which will be quite good. Hmm. Not, yet. Not sure. Not sure. Anyway, got a pikeman coming along. Fresh pikeman. Dog's barking. And we have fire ready. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to charge it, but no, yeah, well. There's a couple of rabbits being taken out, so there's three coin we're not going to get back. <laughs> and there's the next wave of fire. But I mean, with the amount of archers we have, and that catapult, and the fire, I mean, there's, there's no there's no drama there. Look, they're all dead. All gone, so we'll charge to the left, and see how far we get. I'll order the destruction of those three trees and I'm going to go past, I'm going to see how far, oh, well, I'm going to see how close the next portal is. I think it's very, very close. There it is there. So again, left and right, we can do that attack. We won't be doing it now. We can. What day are we on? Um, 26. 
So actually, we will be coming to a blood moon soon. Day 32 it'll be for the blood moon. So my question is, do I want to go forward? Haven't yet decided. But if nothing else, we'll keep upgrading our walls and towers. Let's get this upgrade to the next highest level. And strangely, that arches probably give us the amount of money needed to upgrade it without <laughs> really taking anything from our pockets. We've just got from there, so that's fine. We haven't actually got a wall around here. It's all completely open, but I don't think that's a, a big problem. We should have two more peasants around here. Yeah, one and then two. That's fine. Good. And ideally, I want to get this to the next level. I don't have the cash, but I think I'll, I'll get paid. We've been putting into the coffers for quite some time. So it's a worthy purchase. And that'll take it to tier 4. Or the 4, the 4 rank. Because, you know, our main tower should be... Oh, sorry, our main home should be defended as, you know, the highest we possibly get it. And that's a lot of coin. That's a lot of coin. And I don't really want to stop around here because I'm sure some of these guys are pretty armed with loads of stuff. This has obviously been massively opened up, as you can see. We have a lot of options for towers, but no defensive points, which is... Could be problematic. I don't know if it is, but there you are. So, I'll spend this cash now, and then I will initiate an attack on the right-hand side, I think. That would be quite a decent one. And I'll also make sure that some of these are upgraded even further. So we'll get that upgraded, like so. Don't need any more farmers. He'll get paid. That should be enough for him. Yeah, that's fine. This is not going any further, and this should be... Do we have enough coin for that? I think we're just off. We're just off the coin that we need. You can see there's a sword there for the, the knight or whatever. check to see if anyone... No, not getting me paid. So all the workers have ran off to this side by the look of it. Let's stand next to the farmers too. See how much coin's there. We need to be at the front ready for this... ready to send this attack. Good grief! Um... Okay! That's problematic. Let me drop the coin. Walking past, and they'll pick it up later. <laughs> and there's so much coin getting flung at me here. It's just getting dropped. Oh my good grief. That's insane. That's great. Okay, right. Let's end this attack. So there's the attack going there. I really don't want to stop because there's so much coin. And I don't want to... I don't want to waste it all, you see. So let's continue on. Keep upgrading. Getting that sorted. Getting some more arches. And... Oop! No, I won't. So I'm going to give them... I think I'm just going to give him loads of coin. That's 30 coin I'll give them. 40 coin. 40 coin's enough for now. Considering that the farmers have also lots of coin too. So the attack's going on the right. Hopefully that'll be a quick and successful one. I'm just going to stand here. Oh, looks like they're also... They're also get, we're also getting coin from the, uh, the pikemen. You can see the stag there judging us as we go past. Why did you betray me and pick up this salamander? <laughs> because, sorry, this thing can fling fire. Which is, you know, quite a useful skill to have when there's horrible things trying to attack you. That's upgraded to 
the next level. Let's continue on with that and go for the next, next level. Let's get, um, don't want to stand too near the banker because I think he'll end up giving us more coin and I really don't want any coin from him. I don't have enough to upgrade that. But and there we go. So there is the portal on the right hand side now destroyed. So that is two out of three on that side. So I'm going to go to the left hand side to get loads of coin and also to probably send another attack. Obviously we will have the retaliation to deal with. There is the attack. And this is where we will make our stand. And there's some coin. And are they firing at the rabbit? They are firing at the rabbit. Not doing a very good job either. <laughs> oh well. So we've got a retaliation wave coming. I'm looking around, I can't see where the moon is. There's a rabbit come back into range again. Might as well get the coin. Mm. Let's see where this wave is. Something funky's going on. There's the fires come on, so it's now night time. It might have been on the other side, that retaliation wave. And the fact that they're all running that way is disconcerting. Because that means that there's some capacity loss over that side, potentially. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Get some fire out. Protect this wall quite easily. I don't know if the retaliation waves come from the side in which you've just uh, hit. I really don't know. And there's that over with. I don't want to send the wave just yet because I don't know whether it's going to go to daytime or not. We'll see. If that if the bell rings and we get the alert to say it's over with, then I'll send them on this side. Any second now. Come on. Need the town cry to let us know. No. There we go. One, two. So there we go. There's both those attacks. We will uh, rush off with them. You see, all this is completely clear now on open plane. I'm trying to bask a little bit, but the sun's not up yet. I'm coming this side early because I want to drop. I want to get these two people here. There's one. There's the second. And I want to rush back to the right-hand side to see if there's any damage. And to upgrade. And while I'm at it, actually, let's get that built. Because I think we do need a quick way of going from one side to the other. So, if this attack's successful, and there's no reason to think it wouldn't be successful, that will be... A decent, uh, a decent one, because that's how many now? Four in total? I think so. So, uh, I want a couple of pikes here, like so. I also want to upgrade this, but I don't think I've got the coin on me. Oh, I do. Just two coin remaining, but that's upgraded now. Obviously coming to... Oh, this is this is actually summer. It will be coming to autumn after this one. We will see the blood moon sooner rather than later. Another coin to give there. I see loads of potential. Oh, loads of workers there. So I need. Oh right. Oh dearie me. See all these, all these uh, peasants. We've lost the war. And there's that wave. So yes, that retaliation wave was on this side and it has n absolutely knacked the wall up and all the farms gone 
Right. We thought that might happen. I am going to get these guys back. There's the retaliation wave. Let's get archers. I'm very aware, however, that we need some more builders and farmers. I thought something like that. Why is that guy not taking any coin? There we go. Yeah, we're going to have to use this money. One of the three builders. And I really want to start getting some more farmers. But the left hand side can hopefully take care of itself. This one, we need to spend the cash and move back up. Get that farm back up and run. Because we only have a limited time to do that sort of thing. I'm not going to get the farmers just yet because I think they might go forward and get themselves killed. So the question is, does retaliation wave come from... Where's he barking? He's barking this side. Okay. And remember, we haven't got a catapult here either. Why is that worker coming out? <laughs> there we go. So we have the archers up top there and the flower, but we have flies as well. We have flies as well. And that one. We have the spawners and good grief they're really after us here. That is a big problem. That wall's gonna not last much longer. The wall's down. And we're having a run. Luckily, our archers are doing very well. Right. Let's get this upgraded and get stuff built. So we've lost some knights there. But actually, could have gone a hell of a lot worse. And strangely, that tower's still there. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, so that's actually still there. Good. I don't think we're going to kill them, sadly. But we're going to get this wall up. We're going to get this guy. Get that back up. That, that dog's still barking. It's... Why is it barking still? There's still more stuff coming? It's a possibility. So, we've used a lot of coin, and he's given me even more. I don't want any more, strangely, but... I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to be ungrateful. You know, don't turn away a free coin. Not that it's free. We, we had to invest to get that done. Um, a couple more builders. There we go. We will get this upgraded. No, actually we won't. I'm saving my cash. Um, okay, then paid off. Oh, there is a. There's the farm. I was going to say where have they been? Uh, where have they gone? Rather, one, two, three, four. I want six in total. And there's the six. I'm going to take a look on the left to see if there's any damage on this side. Potential to be damage. I probably would have seen it by now, though. I wonder if the retaliation comes from the wall portal. All questions that I don't know the answers to. And... No, this is okay. Right, so this side's fine. The other side was one that took the absolute battering. But, actually in terms of losses, it wasn't a lot. Money-wise, we've taken a hit because we haven't had those farmers constantly working. We've probably lost some people, and we certainly had to rebuild some walls. But, I mean, that's not the end of the world. Could have been dangerous. Uh, could have been a lot more dangerous, rather. Just, just the right amount of coin for that. The problem is we lost the knights. So I'm going to get coin here. We get two knights on that side. Remember, some of those knights have been with us since pretty much day one. Because they've come with us on the boat. And sadly, they're no longer with us. But, the walls here... Have, oh yeah, so that knight tower is... Oh, it's not there. So we've got the knight's tower... 
and the rest of it's okay. Right. And there's the attack. Just in time for me to... Yeah, I can't put flame on it. Come on. There we go. So there's that scent. And I'm looking for... There it is. I was going to say, I'm looking for the catapult. Because we need to build a catapult. And there we go. That's that ordered. Right, I think we will leave it there. Not bad. Um, I didn't expect to destroy both sides. Um, portals. Well, we got one, two on the left and two on the right. Obviously, retaliation wave, very aggressive, very difficult to deal with. But we managed to come out with that. Next episode, I want to... I want to get both portals on the left and right down and ideally I would love to finish off the I would love to finish off the dock portal that is my desire whether or not it becomes reality we will have to see either way we are leaving it there for now on day 30 next episode we'll suffer sadly another wave um, another um, blood moon but hopefully we should be alright. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.